Hi Colin, it's Tuesday. I'm gonna skip past that part of the video where I apologize for this video being late, and instead just get right to answering your question. Which is that I don't know if I have one fave. I mean, I have a lot of favorite people who are like famous to some degree, but a lot of the people that I admire are not necessarily famous in the traditional sense. Most of the people that could be considered my faves are either YouTube famous or famous as musicians. So some of my potential faves off the bat could be John Green, Hank Green, Michael Stevens, Dan Campbell, even your brother to some degree. Matt, if you're watching, I apologize. I'm not trying to be creepy. I just, I like your music a lot, okay? I'm sorry. I'm uh, gonna buy a new t-shirt. Um, don't worry about it. But Colin, I don't really have the belief that any of these people are perfect or infallible, so maybe I was into your fave is problematic before it was cool? Hashtag hipster? But I get the idea of the movement, and I get the idea of your problems with the movement, because it's all about framing and it's all about the perspective that you take. To be honest, I don't truly understand the obsessive mentality that a lot of people have for those who are famous. I have, at least for the last few years of my life, taken on more of a philosophy of understanding people as human beings who are, of course, fallible to some degree or the other. But I've always picked my faves, my heroes, based on who was the most relatable to me and whose flaws I understood, whose failings I could relate to, whose successes I aspired to. So while I understand why the Your Fave is Problematic meme or concept exists, I don't necessarily see the application for it in my life. And I think that we as people, as members of society, should move past these obsessive ideals and standards to which we hold the people that we consider our faves. Also, real talk for a second, this whole idea of a fave is stupid. It's your favorite. Just say favorite, just say person you admire. I don't understand why we need to shave off a couple letters of a word to make it slightly more convenient to type. Colin, to sum it all up, I'd say that we need to consider all people, especially our faves, as people who are fallible, but who are also capable of great things. Because that's why I look up to my heroes. At least until I meet them in person, then I just get awkward and I try to tell them how much they mean to me without seeming creepy and without seeming fangirly, because I don't want to be a fangirl, I want to admire them and respect them, and I want them to respect me as their peer who uh, understands them. Yeah. Anyway, to our viewers, thank you for continuing to watch, thank you for supporting us. Colin, I'll see you on Monday. Or whenever you get the time to make a video, no rush, no pressure, no hassle, I totally understand. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like.